I'm Dr. Shilpa. I'm a fertility specialist and laparoscopic surgeon from Bangalore. So the problem of infertility has been on a rise of late all across the world. IVF has been a boon to many couples who have been trying to conceive and have not been successful with other treatments. In vitro fertilization has been around from almost 1979 and it's been more than 44 years that Louis Brown, who was the first IVF child, has been living a healthy life and she also had healthy kids by natural pregnancy. So what is this IVF? IVF, also called as in vitro fertilization, is retrieving the eggs from the woman and taking the sample from the husband and mixing it in a lab, in a test tube growing these embryos in the lab for three to five days and injecting the embryo back into the woman's uterus roughly constitutes the procedure of IVF. So in the beginning, this procedure was done only when there was a blockage in the fallopian tube. The fallopian tube is a place where the fertilization has to happen and for some reason like infections or surgery, or endometriosis, the tubes get blocked and the woman will be unable to conceive. So such couples have excellent results with IVF where the function of the tube happens in a test tube in a lab. So for this, there are very simple steps which the woman and the man has to go through. The woman has to uh, take injections for 8 to 10 days on her thighs roughly around the same time of every day and uh, she has to go through a procedure called egg pickup or the oocyte pickup which happens roughly around 12th or 13th day of her period under anesthesia which is very painless and it doesn't need admission in the hospital it is it requires about three to four hours stay and the embryology part takes about three to five days for us to know what is the quality of the embryos and the transfer happens without anesthesia and the woman needs to stay in the center for about two to three hours. And post this, usually we encourage the woman to continue with her routine and need not be completely rested. Just like how her schedule is, she can continue with that. And after 14 days, we ask them to do a test called beta HCG, it's a blood test and this will tell us the result of the IVF. All across the world, the standard result or a live birth rate as we call or the take home baby rate per cycle of IVF is about 30 to 35 percent. In spite of good quality eggs, good quality sperms, good pickup, good transfer and a good embryology lab. So realistically, we'll have to go through the procedure without worrying about the result. And this whole process may cost around 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs, inclusive of everything, depending on the facility that you choose. Thank you.